Levi Ishkola 25 euros October 1895 a euro February 26, 1969, served as the third Prime Minister of Israel from 1963 until his death from a heart attack in 1969. He was the first Israeli Prime Minister to die in office. Biography, Levi Ishkol was born in the Shtel of Oratov, Kiev Governorate, Russian Empire. His mother came from a Hasidic background and his father came from a family of Mishnagdim. Ishkol received a traditional Jewish education in Vilna. In 1914, he left for Palestine, then part of the Ottoman Empire. He was a leading member of the Judeo Workers' Union in 1915 Euro 17. During World War I, he volunteered with the Jewish Legion. Ishkol joined Kibbutz to gain Bet and married River Maharshk. They had a daughter, No, born in 1924 and were divorced in 1927. Ishkol married his second wife Elisha Kaplan in 1928, with whom he had three daughters, Dvora, Ofra, and Tama. His second wife died in 1959. In 1964 he married Miriam, a librarian at the Library of the Knesset 35 years his junior. Prior to and immediately after the establishment of the State of Israel, Ishkol was a member of the Haganah High Command. He engaged in arms acquisition for the Haganah prior to and during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. After Israel's victory, Ishkol was appointed Director General of the Ministry of Defense, serving from 1950 to 1951. Equals political career equals. Ishkol was elected to the Knesset in 1951 as a member of Mapai Party. He served as Minister of Agriculture until 1952, when he was appointed Finance Minister following the death of Eliza Kaplan. He held the position for the following 12 years. During his term as Finance Minister, Ishkol established himself as a prominent figure in Mapai's leadership and was designated by Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion as his successor. When Ben-Gurion resigned in June 1963, Ishkol was elected party chairman with a broad consensus, and was subsequently appointed Prime Minister. However, his relationship with Ben-Gurion soon turned acrimonious over the latter's insistence on investigating the Lavin Affair, an Israeli covert operation in Egypt, which had gone wrong a decade earlier. Ben-Gurion failed to challenge Ishkol's leadership and split from a pie with a few of his young proto-copyright Gar copyright to form Rafi in June 1965. In the meantime, the pie merged with Ardut Harvoda to form the alignment with Ishkol as its head. Rafi was defeated by the alignment in the elections held in November 1965, establishing Ishkol as the country's indisputable leader. Yet Ben-Gurion, drawing on his influence as Israel's founding father, continued to undermine Ishkol's authority throughout his term as Prime Minister, portraying him as a spineless politician incapable of addressing Israel's security predicament. Equals Prime Minister equals, Ishkol formed Israel's 12th government in 1963. His first term in office saw continuous economic growth, epitomized by the opening of the national water carrier system in 1964. His and Finance Minister Pinch's Sapper's subsequent soft landing of the overheated economy by means of recessive policies precipitated a drastic slump in economic activity. Israel's centralized planned economy lacked the mechanisms to self-regulate the slowdown, which reached levels higher than expected. Ishkol faced growing domestic unrest as unemployment reached 12% in 1966, Yet the recession eventually served in healing fundamental economic deficiencies and helped fuel the ensuing recovery of 1967 Euro 1973. Upon being elected into office, Levi Ishkol fulfilled Zev Jabotinsky's wish and brought his body and that of his wife to Israel where they were buried in Mount Herzl Cemetery. Ishkol worked to improve Israel's foreign relations, establishing diplomatic relations with West Germany in 1965 as well as cultural ties with the Soviet Union, which also allowed some Soviet Jews to immigrate to Israel. He was the first Israeli Prime Minister invited on an official state visit to the United States in May 1964. The special relationship he developed with President Lyndon Johnson would prove pivotal in securing U.S. political and military support for Israel during the waiting period preceding the Six-Day War of June 1967. Today, 
Ishkol's intransigence in the face of military pressure to launch an Israeli attack is considered to have been instrumental in increasing Israel's strategic advantage as well as obtaining international legitimacy, yet at the time he was perceived as hesitant, an image cemented following a started radio speech on May 28. With Egyptian President Nasser's ever more overt provocations, he eventually succumbed to public opinion and established a national unity government together with Menachem Begin's Harut party, reluctantly conceding the defense portfolio, which he had previously held along with the premiership, to war hero Moshe Dalin, a close ally of Ben Gurion's and a member of his Rafi party. Israel's overwhelming victory allowed Ishkol to remain prime minister despite never receiving recognition for his role in achieving it. With President Johnson's administration also, Represented in this case by national security aide Robert W. Kmer and others, Ishkol signed what became known as the Ishkol Kama Memorandum of Understanding about Israeli Nuclear Capabilities. The March 10, 1965, MOU, variously interpreted since, said Israel would not be the first country to introduce nuclear weapons to the Middle East. Equals death equals, in the year following the war, Ishkol's health gradually declined, although he remained in power. He died of a heart attack, aged 73, in February 1969. He was laid to rest at Mount HERZL. Commemoration and Recognition Since 1970, Yad Levi Ishkol is the official organization commemorating Prime Minister Ishkol. The Ishkol Regional Council in the northwestern Negev and the Ishkol National Park near Beersheba has been named after him, as well as the Ishkol Power Station and the Ramat Ishkol neighborhood in Jerusalem. See also, Ishkol National Park, Ishkol Power Station, Ishkol Regional Council, Ishkol Water Filtration Plant, the Central Water Filtration Facility of the National Water Carrier, Ha Kfa Ha Yurok, Atarot, where he worked as an agricultural laborer in 1914, Ramat Ishkol. References Further reading, Avner, Yehuda. The Prime Minister's, An Intimate Narrative of Israeli Leadership. Toby Press. ISBN 978-1-59264-278-6. OCLC 758724969. A first-hand account by Ishkol's English speechwriter. Medved, Dov. Levi Ishkol, State and Party, 1948 to Euro 1953. Ben Gurion University of the Negev. CS1 Maintenance, Unrecognized Language. External links, Levi Ishkol on the Knesset website, Yad Levi Ishkol, the official commemorative organization website, Levi Ishkol's biography Knesset website, short biography of Levi Ishkol from the Jewish Virtual Library, the Central Zionist Archives in Jerusalem site. Office of Levi Ishkol, Jerusalem. Office of Levi Ishkol, Tel Aviv. NNDB entry on Levi Ishkol, Levi Ishkol, Forgotten Hero A Euro Essay from Azur, Ideas for the Jewish Nation, Decisions of Levi Ishkol's Cabinet after the Six-Day War, Israel State Archives website, archives.gov.il.